Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to talk about Obsidian tasks and how I could get those tasks out of Obsidian and into a task management application. Now I wanted to get this into Occiflow but after some plan around here I, I found out that Occiflow does not have an API so it's not that easy to do it. So I decided to venture into getting it into Apple Reminders. I'm on a Mac, I use iOS, so Apple Reminders fits within, you know, the devices that I use and it's readily available in those devices. So it seemed the perfect application for me to, as a second, you know, best solution to get the task out of Obsidian and then into Apple Reminders. Now, in order to do this, there would be a little bit of programming or scripting that would be needed. And I'm used to Python. I used to do Python back in the day, a lot of scripting. And I decided to ask ChatGPT because I've been out of the scripting and developing with Python for a while. So I decided to ask ChatGPT for some help. And this is pretty much kind of that, that workflow and you'll see what I ended up with. I was able to get the task out of Obsidian and into Apple Reminders and this is how I went about it. But the first thing I did was I asked ChatGPT to create me some Python code that would parse the directory of markdown files for incomplete checklist items with the hashtag of task. Um, you can see here I put the plural tasks with an S, but I fixed this in post where I only use hashtag task. So it went through and it created the code for me. And I'm not going to stick too much on the initial, these codes because I go through and I change and modify this as I go along. So it was able to parse all of the tasks that had that hashtag on it. And then what I wanted it to do is to identify any tasks that it identified um, through the pro parsing process and then put a scheduled on it. So this is what I manually would type if I was to move this task into a uh, task management application. I would typically mark it with scheduled so that I know that I scheduled it in another app. So it spit out the code to do this and we can see right here where it went about and added that particular piece there. Now, when I got to, you know, I got all this, this piece done, I figured, okay, well, if I'm gonna mark it as scheduled, I might as well also mark, mark it as complete. So I added that particular piece into the code or asked ChatGPT to do it. And then also for each of the checklist items that were found, create an Apple reminder. Now, it actually went through and did this. I, I did get some um, recommendations from ChatGPT to use shortcuts instead of doing it the way that it actually um, has, has done it. And I'll show you what that looks like. But um, I didn't want to have shortcuts involved. I wanted to have the least amount of things in this particular flow so that I wouldn't have to rely on say, okay, the the Python script and shortcuts and then all these other little pieces because the more you add to it the more complicated it gets and any one of those things breaks could cause the entire thing not to work. Now I also asked in this prompt here to make the file name um, put the file name into the the note text um, of the Apple reminder so I know where the actual task came from within Obsidian I expanded upon this. I actually modified this manually. Um, we'll, we'll see how, what I did as we move through here. But it created this code. It used Apple Script to initiate the creation of the Apple Reminders. And it, it, it worked flawlessly just like I wanted it to um, from what I prompted ChatGPT to do. So it did follow those instructions and it created the code and everything worked fine. Now, as I got through and I started seeing some of the outcomes of 
what it was producing from the the file name in the note text I wanted to modify that and actually put a link to the actual note so that if I clicked on the link then it would take me into obsidian or to the file and I could I could work with it from there I can modify it or do whatever I wanted to now chat GPT used the URL format here where it put file in front of it now this um, I, I did test it with this here and it it did work and it sent me to the file but then I figured you know what why don't I improve on this and I actually use the obsidian URL string so that it will actually open up within obsidian so in order to do that though I did have to tweak the code again um, and I will show that there in the um, in the example when I show the encode I will walk through the things that I modified manually um, I also prompted this so that it would actually schedule the task for today the day that I actually am running this script and it finds it and it creates the actual Apple reminder go ahead and mark it so that it's actually due for that day as well now here's all of the code here from chat GPT um, let me I will skip through some of this because a lot of this stuff I actually modified uh, manually and I changed it so that it could leverage the obsidian uh, URL format so that it opens it up directly within obsidian so let's go into obsidian or actually the Python code so I can show you what that looks like in its final state okay so this is the Python code in its final state here you can see I have obsidian and then a terminal behind there to run the Python code but some of the important pieces here was that I took the the um, the actual URL so it was formatting it this way I added the pathlib module in here and then I created a different approach to using the URL to where it would use this obsidian URL format so it will start with obsidian colon and then you know the vault and then file name now in order to do this the I had to take the directory path that was put in so it you have to actually put the obsidian vault path in here so that the last portion of the path is always going to be the vault and that's where I took the vault created the vault name variable here and it takes that last uh, piece of the path and it makes it the vault name for this variable then I really just took the or created another variable here obsidian underscore URL and then I chunked up the way it formatted so that I can insert the vault name in there and then at the end here we'll see that I use this particular path to start the final URL path for where the note is actually at now some of this stuff you'll you may see that I'm replacing certain elements within the the, the format of the path that I get where I'm removing spaces out of there and I'm putting in the ASCII characters so that this works um, when we when it creates the, the note and it prints it out that it actually makes that URL work within the reminders application as opposed to what you see if you have a space within the URL it will actually take that URL up to the point to where there's a space and then it will think everything else is not a part of the link so it will separate those two things so using the ASCII characters in here fills out every space so that there is there are no spaces within that URL path and it just works now if we come up here to the top we can see here where this new file path I take that initial start to the obsidian URL and then what I do is I put the that following path to the note so from the 
vault name all the way to the note because it could be at the top level it might be in some of the subfolders so that gets put into a format where I'm also again using ASCII characters and replacing the slash slashes and also replacing any spaces in there for ASCII characters now we'll see too as I run the script it prints out the path of the note um, that I'm going to be using as the URL so this was just one way for testing so I made sure that it printed what I wanted out and I can just make sure it was a valid URL and then when in the Apple script I add a couple I add that that new file path for one and then I also put in here hashtag obsidian just so it shows that those Apple uh, reminders came from this particular um, script or we can just say obsidian itself now any other things nothing else was really modified from what chat GPT created so everything is still here everything does have you know the comment section so you can see what its purpose is chat GPT does a good job too of noting uh, what each particular section does so this is great now let's go ahead and check out the script itself we'll go ahead and open up reminders so right here I have reminders and we'll put this off to the side we don't need to see the actual code anymore so I'm in a directory that has the that Python script so I'll show that here and I also have my lab vault here where I have three different notes that have tasks in them and with the hashtag of task so you can have these checklist items without this particular hashtag but every time I put this in within my normal practice this just indicates it's something that needs to be scheduled so I have three different files with different amount of tasks in them and they're also in different directories just to test out that it will um, go through the hierarchy of the vault and get all of these tasks so we got two in this one we have two in this one and we have two here and let me see we have another one here and I have another one here actually four different files and this one has four in it so let's go through this here run the script and let's see what happens all right so we can see here that it has found um, these new tasks you see I have an error here I made a change where it was working right here we can see where it was printing that out I went and made a quick change so I screwed this piece up right here in the in the code so I'll have to go and fix that but we can see that it actually did create those tasks and it put the URL within the link and it also scheduled them for today and you see the hashtag obsidian is in the reminder as well now if I was to let's say we covered up obsidian here and I wanted to get to the particular note with this task in it I can come in here and I can click on the actual note here and it will open that up see here on the obsidian side where it, it did check it off and it also appended the line with um, the scheduled portion here so it did exactly what it should have done um, if you have any questions leave some questions in the comment I will put a post with a link to the actual script itself um, to where you can copy the script I make no guarantees on this script so if it screws up your entire vault or whatever then that's on you um, look through the code you can see I ran it here also if I run it a second time because it did put the the schedule at the back end here I tell it to ignore any of those so it does not uh, find them multiple times and put them in here and, and duplicate them within the Apple reminders so it does work at least from my use case you do need to make sure that you 
uh, come in and change the directory path here to your vault and really that is it um, you obviously need to have Python installed on your machine and I'm only using this on the Mac so far so just wanted to show how this would work and how I kind of went from you know thinking about doing this to leveraging chat GPT to getting the final result if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and until the next time have a nice day